Hello, my name is Simon Watts and welcome to part three of our 3D printing video course. In this session, we're going to be printing from our flash drive the file we prepared in our last video. For part three, we'll need glue sticks, a scraper, and the flash drive with our file on it. While other Dremel 3D printers have plastic bill plates, the 3D45's bill plate is made of glass. This allows it to heat up, which is required to print with nylon and ABS filament. In order for our print to stick to the bill plate, we first need to put down a thin layer of glue using a glue stick. Without the glue, the melted plastic won't be able to stick to the bill plate. Now that our printer is finally ready to print, we can insert the flash drive into the bottom right USB port. Press the green build button on the screen and you'll then have the option to print from a pre-saved file or from your USB directly. Press the USB icon and then navigate to your print using the touchscreen. You'll then have the option to begin building your print, delete your print, or copy your print from the flash drive over to the 3D printer. Since we're ready to start our project, let's go ahead and press build. The printer will then heat up its nozzle to 230 degrees Celsius and the platform to 60 degrees Celsius. Once the build plate and extruder are heated, the build plate will rise and the printer will begin printing. Keep an eye on the printer while it puts down the supports in the base of the print. Normally if it's going to mess up, it's going to mess up on that first layer. If your print starts looking like spaghetti, stop the print and either level the build plate or apply more glue. While your project prints, the screen will display the temperature and remaining build time. You'll also have the option to pause or stop your print. When the build is paused, you can adjust your settings or change the filament. If your print runs out of filament mid-print, it will pause and direct you to load more filament. Then all you have to do is wait patiently for your print to finish. Once your print is finished, the build plate will automatically lower back to the starting position. With our print completed, all we have to do now is remove it from the build plate and then break off the supports. Now use your scraper to pry your print off the build plate. Depending on how many supports you use, this could take a little bit of force, so use your best judgment. You should see a clear distinction from your supports and your model, and removing the supports will need to be done carefully to not damage your print. The bulk of the supports can be removed with a pair of needle nose pliers. This will leave a thin layer of supports that can be pried off using a small screwdriver. If you need to, you can sand down your print with sandpaper to clean up your fine details. If any part of your print breaks, it's easy to fix with some super glue. With our print done, the final thing we need to do is clean our build plate. This doesn't need to be done after every print, but in order to preserve build quality, it's important you do it every once in a while. In order to remove the build plate for cleaning, press the two black levers in the front and then lift the build plate from the back. To clean your build plate, just run it under hot water and then use your scraper to clean off any residue. Make sure the build plate dries before you try putting it back in the 3D printer. Then just load the build plate back into the 3D printer. You should hear a click as it snaps back into place. Congratulations on earning your 3D printer badge. This will allow you to use any 3D printer throughout the Central Appahannock Regional Library System, including Ideaspace's Ultimaker S5. You will still, however, need to make an appointment to come in and demonstrate your knowledge to a staff member. Happy printing!